That is your logo. I know it's a bit of a weird logo, but usually anything that's weird, it's something that people remember. So this is why, I mean, is what we have. But the last time I would have seen something like that, I would have called out Dynarod. If I was going to go viral, I want to know why. Now, you know, unless you did actually turn into a turd, um, it might go viral. Luxury? L luxury. What's that? Eating Ferrero Rocher on the Woolwich Ferry. Have any of you ever been on a either. cruise? Myself? Never. No, you never. Never, never been on a cruise. Funny, because when you read your CVs, it sounds to me you can all walk on water. You you were, this is like a band plane on the Titanic. You had no calibration, no leadership, nothing. Like, yeah. Take full responsibility for the name. I think it'd be a great name for Tom Cruise to name his next kid, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Bougie Cruise. That'd be good. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> Call the midwife's got more men in it than that. <laughs> right. Getting back to what this looks like, Wiffy is rather appropriate, isn't it? I'm thinking of getting a psychiatrist for you lot, because you seem to be obsessed with turds. <laughs> you were going to Saturn, right? Yes. This thing looks like it came from Uranus. <laughs> right? can, I, can I just tell you what, what I happened? I can tell you one thing you succeeded on. It is gender neutral, because neither a boy or a girl would buy this bloody thing, that's for sure. It's my turn to be the wizard, because I'm going to make one of you disappear today, that's for sure. Yeah, so I expected it just to be an orange toothbrush. But wouldn't that have been a bit boring? It could have an been, so that's why. Yeah. I have a five year old. Look like Donald Trump's face. That's a little bit sick on the side of your face. Yes, I, you I noticed that. What it is. And the two spots on the other side. Bloody hell. Look, I've been tasered by somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, if I was somebody who liked vodka, I would say that you are taking the piss, really, because that's what it, it looks like a sample that I gave my doctor the other day. <clears throat> It's certainly got a lingering flavour. I can feel it lingering a little yeah. bit. I might need some more meprazole from you soon. <laughs> yes. The idea of a non-alcoholic drink is that you don't get drunk. We certainly achieve this because it, this won't get drunk by anybody else, I can tell you. But someone had to step up and, and take control of it, so I decided to do it. Sounds to me you were done up like a kipper, as they say, in, our, yeah. in the East End of London, <laughs> yeah? On. Alex. Yes. Captain Bird's Eye or Captain Bird Brain? You didn't start referring to your three pillars again, did no, you? The, the, <laughs> no, the pillars have drowned now. Now we've got no three pollocks, pillars. basically. No yeah. more pillars. You know what an Arctic is, don't you, in East End terms? It's an articulated lorry. Arctic saviour sounds like a breakdown service. <laughs> and this was supposed to be something to do with 10 years in the future, was that right? Yep, so um, we wanted a modern future. That was Had something Spurs that... or West Ham won anything yeah. by then? <laughs> uh, I thought that's a comment. Everything yeah, we'd won. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, I've seen more action in an episode of The Night Garden. Um, yeah, it's sold them too cheap. <laughs> no, I, I totally understand that. I mean, that you know, one. I can always sell a £50 note for 25 Easy, you know? If I knew that you two were going off to the pier to sell, I would have think you are going to do a Punch and Judy show. <laughs> Not the greatest fans of each other, was you? Right, um, we're in Wales. You, this is like lambs to the slaughter, quite frankly. You used to live in Los Angeles, yeah? Yeah. So you're not one of the LA Dodgers then, are you? Because you seem to be avoiding taking on the project manager role. Akeem, you seem to be chopping and changing your mind all the time. A bit like a traffic light, really. No, nope. um, um, I... You seem to be stuck on amber. Where's the karaoke, then? The mics were there. <laughs> What's it playing? Please release me. To me, it looks a bit like a pimp mobile. Yeah. I didn't want to go down the hen do tacky route. You said you wanted memories. I think you created migraines. So inside, we focus on versatility, um, especially just due to the um, nature of the vehicle. It looks a bit bland. I think there's a hearse that looks a little bit got more vibes than that. <laughs> be Pure was the brand that we went with. Not only is it a command to be sustainable, but the bees represent the fact that they are imperative to our planet and our ecosystem. Mm, sounds like one of Gwyneth Paltrow's candles, actually. <laughs> To be honest with you, it looks like a, a Teletubbies tour bus. Akeem wanted a taxi, and one of you, or at least one of you, is going to get a taxi. A taxi home. What about the punters? Were they a bit hungry then? Yeah, by the time they, the food got served, they were quite irritable. I suppose the only driver they wanted to see was someone from Deliveroo. Catherine, do you think that you didn't trust both Akshay and Nick? Did you think they're a couple of grand pricks? Thousand pounds. They Thousand did. pounds. I... Bloody hell! What were they throwing in? Lewis Hamilton to drive it. <laughs> built up the expectations then. Um, but I think we did. I think accurately. you built them up higher than Bernie Ecclestone's shoes, actually. Without a doubt, the worst 
failure I've ever experienced in this boardroom. To be honest, I've had enough. Be quiet, just be quiet. You dig yourself a hole. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs>